Once we have built the logical model, generated the relational model, tweaked the relational model, and verified that everything is okay at this point, uh, then it'll be safe to proceed further. And the next step is to generate what we call as the DDL. DDL is short for Data Definition Language. Okay, so when you use SQL, till now we've been using SQL almost completely only for select stuff. That is, you've got something in the database and you're retrieving information based on your requirements. Okay, now you already know that the only way to interact with a relational database is through the language called SQL. And select statements are only one part of the SQL language required for retrieving information from the database. Now, of course, there are other operations we may want to perform on the database. So for example, you have tables, you want to put information into the database. So you use insert SQLs to do that. The other thing, of course, that you want to do is you may want to create tables. And again, that is also achieved through SQL. Okay, so when we learned the SQL language, we focused all our energy on learning only about select. But there are these other aspects of SQL which are far simpler than select. Very straightforward. Okay, so right now what we want to do is, well, we have designed our database. We know exactly what tables are going to be in the database. All we need to do is to write the SQL to generate those tables, to create those tables in the database. Fortunately for us, we don't have to write those SQLs by hand. Oracle Data Modeler can automatically generate the SQL, that is the DDL, for creating the database based on our modified relational model. So that's what we're going to do now. And I call this process as generating the DDL, which is the part of SQL for creating the database. Okay, so a DDL is nothing but a file with SQL commands for creating the database in Apex. So in order to create the DDL, what you need to do is to do file, export, DDL file. This will create a file with an extension .ddl. You can leave it as it is or change the extension to SQL. It doesn't matter, right? So once you do that, you will come to this window. And on this window, simply click the generate button. And you're going to see several options here. And here also, you should follow the instructions carefully. It says create section, create selection, meaning what are all the things you want to create. So simply check all of the boxes. Okay, don't worry about it. Just check all of the boxes. Basically, what you want to do is to create the tables, etc., etc. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is uh, to go to the drop selection. And again, here, I want you to select all of the options. Now, what is this drop selection? So the drop selection is basically, you want it to generate the SQL for deleting all of these tables which exist. So for example, in this case, you're going to create tables called customer, product, sales order, order item, product category, etc., etc. You're going to create all those tables, okay? Now, before you create the tables, what we really want to do is to delete those tables if they already exist, right? If tables with the same name already exist, delete them and then create them, right? So that's what this drop selection is. If you check them, then your, uh, the, when it generates the DDL, it'll generate the statements to delete all the tables first and then to install them. Now, this is a good idea because what might happen is that you may proceed and create the database. And at that point, you may realize I made some mistakes and I need to go back and change the logical model, right? So then you go back, change the logical model, create the relational model. Again, you generate the database, okay? So at this point, you don't want the old tables to hang around. So you delete the old tables and recreate the tables completely anew, okay? So that is the safe thing to do. So select this drop selection. Okay, and then click on OK. So what it's going to do is it's going to generate the SQL, right? So it opens up this file and it's showing all the SQLs that it's generated. Notice 
it says drop table customer, drop table order item, drop table. Drop table means delete the table. And this came simply because in our drop selection, we checked all the boxes. Okay, but it's telling you there are four errors when it generated the DDL. It says check the design rules for more details. You expect these errors. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is how to fix those errors. Okay, so you click on OK and then simply search for the word error. Right, so control F and then type in error. Right, and then it comes to the first error here. Right, see here error dash dash error and then it shows you the line where the error is occurred, the statement where the error is occurred. Now this error is happening as you can see here, FK name length exceeds maximum allowed length of 30. Okay, in other words, whenever it's creating any foreign key, it is generating the name for the foreign key automatically, right? So for example, it says add constraint product underscore category underscore product underscore category dash FK. That is the name for the foreign key that it's creating. And that name is just too long. It's longer than 30. It's uh, uh, more than 30 characters. So all you have to do is to reduce the length of this name. Okay, so for example, product, change it to prod. Category, change it to cat. Product, again, change to, you know, that way. Just, just cut down some other characters so that the total length of this becomes 30 characters or, or less. Okay, similarly, search for all the other errors similarly control f you found the first error you fixed it okay similarly here is the next error do the same thing and make sure that you fix all the errors in this case it tells me there were four errors so i need to make sure that i go and fix all the four errors might be a good idea to even delete these lines that can, that flag the errors so that you know that you fixed those errors or just edit this line uh, and put down there saying fixed something to know that you have already fixed this error. Okay, so I'm just showing you what you need to do, that this is what is violating the constraint, etc. Once you've fixed all the errors, click on save. And that's your DDL file. Make sure you see where the file is being saved, what the name of the file is, etc, etc. Right, so you shouldn't come into a point where you save the file and then you're not able to find the file because you're going to load this file onto Apex. Right, so make sure you know exactly where it's being saved and what the name of the saved file is.